welcome back to Soccer News Center. In today's video, we'll be discussing the recent match between AC Milan and Newcastle United in the Champions League. It was a highly anticipated game, and both teams were looking to make their mark in Group F, which also includes Borussia Dortmund and Paris Saint-Germain. Let's dive into the key talking points from the match. Newcastle United put up a strong defensive performance in the first half, weathering the Milan pressure and securing a valuable point. They blocked six opposition shots and their goalkeeper, Nick Pope, made eight excellent saves. This result is a good start for Newcastle in their first Champions League campaign in 20 years. It's important to note that away form is not always a prerequisite for success in this competition. Last season's winners, Manchester City, won just one of their six away games. Similarly, Liverpool lost all three away group games when they went on to lift the trophy. So, defensive solidity is key for a successful Champions League side. However, some may argue that Newcastle played too cautiously, considering Milan's recent loss and their own attacking talent. Sean Longstaff's late shot showed that they had opportunities to win the game, and their overall performance showed that they belonged at this level. In the upcoming home games, they should not have an inferiority complex and should aim for victories. Milan, on the other hand, missed a big opportunity to secure a win. Despite taking 25 shots, they failed to score and were wasteful in front of goal. Victory would have been a great way to bounce back from their 5-1 derby defeat to Inter. Additionally, the injury to goalkeeper Mike Minin is a blow for them. Milan's failure to finish was evident throughout the match. They had 15 shots in the first half, the most they've managed in a Champions League game in a long time. However, only seven of those shots were on target, and their shooting lacked the necessary power and accuracy. Milan should have been out of sight by the hour mark. Sandro Tonali, who recently moved from Milan to Newcastle, had a muted return to San Siro. He played cautiously, aware of Milan's strengths, and didn't take many risks. Tonelli's substitution was met with applause from the crowd, appreciating his previous contributions to the club and his cautious approach in this match. Christian Pulisic and Yunus Musa made an impact when they came on as substitutes for Milan. Pulisic looked lively and had five touches inside Newcastle's box, while Musa made his Champions League debut and worked to unsettle the defense. Although their entrances did not lead to a Milan winner, their connection from their time together in the national team is promising for the future. Lastly, we want to highlight the 16-year-old goalkeeper, Aiden Harris, who was named on Newcastle's bench. This is a remarkable experience for him, being named alongside more experienced players in a Champions League match. It's a testament to his talent and potential. That wraps up our analysis of the AC Milan vs Newcastle United match in the Champions League. It was an intense game with missed opportunities and solid defensive performances. We'll be back with more football news, so make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to stay updated. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.